if you know that product is bad and you are lying about the products just because you want to be in the good books of that brand or you want to work with that brand it would like give your followers the wrong impression about you <laughs> subscriber i love you and thank you for always tuning back to watch my video it means a lot to me so yeah if it's your first time of coming by please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and you guys please give this video a big thumbs up so i got sent this pair package from gerard cosmetics i got sent this a while back but i decided not to unbox it i decided to unbox it here although i have of course i've opened it but I haven't actually seen what's inside so I'm going to be unboxing the content one after the other so you guys just see what it is like to get a pair of package and what's actually inside and I know as the title says um, I'm going to give you guys five tips on how you can actually get free packages with, with like low following and probably no followers at all so without further ado let's get straight into the video so basically what they sent me, I just I had to open most of the packages before opening here. Um, they sent me mostly certain sprays and the thing is I was the one who picked them myself because the way this particular brand works, they give you like store credit so you pick whatever you want from the store. So the store credit is more like the amount you're supposed to use to pay for the products so they give it to you as a as, their, as you being on your parents team, they give it to you. So I basically picked mostly setting spray and I picked this um, this collaboration package that they had with Rich, Rich Lux. So this is Rich Lux times, I said that times. So this is Rich Lux and Gerard Cosmetics and it's a collaboration. I got setting spray and there are a whole lot of setting spray. I have like the minis. I got the minis. This is a 3-in-1 mini setting spray. Um, this big size setting sprays, they actually come with the collaboration package. So I already got it out package um, it also comes with a mini certain spray so in that particular collaboration package they have like certain sprays so the makeup removing balm I love this it's amazing amazing no cap I also got PR from this brand and they sent me their eyeshadow palette their highlighter and a liquid lipstick that I can't actually place my hands on right now so yeah um there and oh this looks good it's beautiful. That's basically about the unboxing today. I know I wasn't exactly detailed with unboxing, but I just want to make this video as short as possible. So the first tip is ensure you have content up and running. You don't want to have an empty page. You don't want to have an empty profile. You don't. You want something running on your page. So have content up and running on your page. Ensure you're doing something relating to the products you are receiving, especially like let's assume you are receiving makeup products. Ensure you're doing probably makeup videos or pictorials or something relating to what you want brands to give you and what you want to receive from brands. You need to be doing something related to the packages you are receiving. Make sure you are already like showcasing your talent and influencing the little community you have already. So number two on my list is reach out to brands. Like you can reach out to brands. You don't you don't have to sit and wait until a brand reach out reaches out to you, sorry before you can actually get on PR list of brands. You can reach out to brands by actually sending them an email. It is more professional and more formal sending a mail than just sending a DM. Although I've done it, I've sent DMs to brands, but it's just too casual. It's more like a business transaction. They are helping you with products and you are helping them influence their products and review and all of that. So you want to make it as professional as possible and you just sending a DM is just too casual. Like you guys, you, we're not friends. You get like you're not friends with the brand. In the mail, you want to list out what you do, where you're from, just personal details, why you want to work with the brand, and why you working with the brand would be beneficial to them, of course. And you want to make sure you want to attach like your page handle or whatever you're doing let's assume you are working with instagram you want to make sure you want to attach your page handle to the mail you don't want the brand you don't want to say oh follow me at underscore cat eye like who are you trying to stress 
attach the page profile so that it's easy when they see your mail you just go straight to your page okay they like what you do this is why you have to have content up so that when they check your page and see that okay you do this okay they see what you do and if they like what you do they would want to work with you and you're on your career list already so another thing you can do is you can simply sign up for affiliate programs some brands mostly big brands they have like affiliate programs which allows more influencers to sign up for so you can simply sign up there and if you're qualified they'll pick it but if it's a pr probably a brand that doesn't have a mail address that is when you can then send a dm because like that's the only that's the only reachable way they've given you to actually reach them if that makes any sense so that's where you can send a dm but if it's a brand that has a like a, a reachable mail address make sure you are reaching out to them via mail it is more professional and it makes you look like you know what you are doing let me put it like that so number three on my list is brands reach out to influencers brands can actually reach out to you if they see that they like what you do and they like your content they can offer you a deal they want to work with you or they want to send their PR package or whatever so you could get on brands PR package even big brands like it all depends it all boils down to your content what are you putting out there so you have to make sure you're putting something out there that is what attracting people to your page and what attracting brands to your page for them to actually reach out to you you just have to be hopeful and put in the work put in all that needs to be put in literally <laughs> and you would reach out just be patient with yourself be patient with your process and if you're not reaching out to you reach out to them send that mail really send that mail number four on my list is work on your content so make sure you're giving quality content make sure that when brands go to your page okay they can see that okay i can actually work with this person you don't want to put out even if you can't give top-notch quality but something that is presentable and appealing to the eye basically is good and people would want to work with you but you don't want to put up put out content that is not looking good that they have to strain their eyes to view what you're doing nobody wants stress so no brand would want to work with that so work on your content so number five on my list is purchase from brand you should purchase from them and that will bring their attention to you and to your page purchase from them review their products tag them but please do not as kiss and be kiss us kiss us as kiss whatever you are supposed to be as honest as possible because you just think like it's it's not actually all about you you are influencing the people actually watching you and if you are give if you know that product is bad and you are giving and you are lying about the products just because you want to be in the good books of that brand or you want to work with that brand it would like give your followers the wrong impression about you because mind you your followers and the people you are influencing are actually using their money to get those products so if you are influencing a product and it's quite expensive and they use their money even if it's not expensive like if the product is not good say it is not good like say the truth that's that's just how it should be say it as it is don't influence anybody to get products that are not good you can simply put it out there that this product this is how it is it's not so good it's probably not good for dark skin whatever it is put it out there do not ever like to your followers just because you want to get in the good books of any brand to get on your PR release or whatever never lie be as truthful as possible when you are reviewing products so that's basically it for today's video I hope you enjoy it I try to keep I try to keep this video as short as possible because we do not want to sleep here so I hope you catch the idea of all I've said and I hope you are able to put this into play in whatever you want to do and so if you have any question whatsoever relating to what i've said today please drop in the comment section so yeah thank you guys for watching